at any time if I see something that um, you know interests me. And I, like I said, I use this quite often. You actually can highlight a section. So um, you can see here volume controls. I'm not sure why I'd highlight this, but just to show you, you go ahead and press the five-way button. Um, that begins the highlighting, and then you can scroll down um, to it where you want to be and kind of finish the section that you actually want to highlight. Um, once you select it, it goes ahead and saves it in the My Clippings, and you can see it actually underlines that text. You also can add a, um, a note if you want to, which is nice. So just a text note. So for me, this is kind of analogous to writing in the, um, you know, writing in the side of a book and, you know, earmarking it so I can go back and look at it later. So I can, you know, type in something like this. And you can see it brings up a little place to type. This is the volume. So um, just typing in a note, once we're done, we can go ahead and uh, save the note. We're, are we clear it or cancel it if we don't actually want to save it? I'll go ahead and save that note. Um, at any time, when we go to the menu, I showed you this menu choice before. Um, you can go to My Note. So here's My Notes bookmarks at the very, very bottom. I select that. It brings up the My Clippings. And this is particular to the book you're reading. And if you see, it has all the different places. So here's a bookmark. Um, here's a highlight. Here's a note I put in, and you can see that was the picture of the Kindle. Um, and so a really, really nice feature to be able to pull all your notes together and all your quotes that you kind of clip from the book. And then by uh, selecting it using the, 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 the five-way selector, it jumps right to that section where you made that highlight or made that note. Really, really nice. It's saved separately. Again, you can go back to your home page and look at my clippings to find that. And you also can plug it into your laptop using the USB and copy my clippings to your laptop for you know, maybe a presentation or something you want to pull some quotes in. So um, love that feature. I think that's really, really, really nice. Um, the next thing I want to show you is the uh, Kindle store, um, which is how you actually purchase books. Uh, that's how the books came came in uh, from this, this main menu here. But I'll go ahead and uh, jump in. We'll go into the menu. And we'll go up and shop in Kindle store. So uh, this is the Kindle store, and you can see here at the very top, let me get a little closer so you can actually see it. Um, you can browse books, you can browse newspapers, magazines, and blogs, also New York Times bestsellers. So um, pretty much all the features you can find at Amazon.com, and you certainly can use Amazon.com if you prefer that, and it will automatically download that way as well. So pretty cool. Um, so if I want to go in and look at um, the New York Times bestsellers, for example, um, here they are. There's a little picture of the front cover. Um, here's Lost Symbol by Dan Brown. By clicking on it, um, it brings up, you know, the usual description of the book, the author. Um, here's all the various comments. You can read the customer reviews, which is nice. One of the greatest features I found is right here. You can see it right by there, my thumb. There's a, a try a sample feature. And um, this is great for if you're not sure if you actually want to purchase the book or not. You actually can buy a sample ahead of time. You can read the first couple chapters. And if you like it, you can buy it later. Uh, one thing I did find that was... Um, Somewhat discouraging, although um, it might might have been the way I ordered it. Uh, I actually downloaded a sample. So you can hear, see here, six pixels pixels of separation is one that I've downloaded a sample of. Um, I started reading that. One one feature that I didn't like was you cannot take notes. So let's say you, you, you like this book and you're reading it. You might want to make some clips and make some notes like you normally do with a book. Um, it seems like that is actually turned off. So you cannot use that feature on samples. Um, the other thing that um, I didn't like very much when I actually purchased the book um, I thought that it would actually remember where I was in that book, um, but it didn't appear to. It appeared to download the new book, but leave the sample. So not only uh, did it not take me to where I was, I needed to figure out where I was manually. Um, I also had to go in and uh, delete the sample. Now, I can't remember if I ordered the book from Amazon.com or from my Kindle itself. So maybe that's only happens when you order it on Amazon.com. But um, I, I probably should look into that more and, and, and kind of figure out what's going on there. Um, the, I think the last thing I want to show you, because I want to keep this relatively brief, um, is the ability of the Kindle to actually read to you. And this is pretty cool. Uh, it's really up to the, um, the actual publisher to decide whether they want to actually provide this feature on this book. The one book I bought did allow this. So, so far I'm, I'm hundred percent. So, uh, that's pretty good, I guess, but I've, I've read some reviews where people have complained. 
it's fairly slow uh, starting up. I just press the turn on here and you can see it's very top. It's actually working. Um, it takes probably a good, you know, maybe, I don't know, 15, 20, 30 seconds or so for it to start. Um, but once it does start, it will actually read the book to you. What's really cool is it'll actually change the page automatically for you. So when it gets to the section, you'll see it'll jump to the next page. So we're down here. So this is a really terrific feature, especially if you're in the car and you want to continue, you know, reading your book. Um, you actually can use, obviously, the, the headphone jack to listen to it for headphones or plug it into your radio in your car, and you could continue listening to your book. But again, um, I have read some reviews that there are some books that do not support that. Um, somewhat disappointing, but um, that's, that's the case. I know a lot of people complained about it, but just to let you know, that's the way it works. So anyway, that's a quick overview of uh, the Kindle 2, Amazon Kindle 2. Um, so far, I really like it a lot. Um, if you'd like to read more, you know, certainly come to my blog, www.markmgram.com, um, and hope to see you there at Mark's Augmented Reality. That ends this particular episode. If you have any questions, certainly leave comments, and I'll get back to you. Thanks a lot.